Specific hallmarks distinguish the latest members of the growing Audi Q family from the core range, and the updated Q5 now moves more closely into step with them visually. Although the width and height of the midsize SUV remain as before at 1.89 meters and 1.66 meters respectively, it is now 19 millimeters longer at 4.8 meters, primarily due to its new, larger bumpers. To emphasize its Q credentials from the front its octagonal single frame is shallower and appears wider than before, and the air intakes that flank it have grown in height and are now structured by trapezoidal insets. In S-Line, Edition 1 and top-tier Vorsprung models the grille within the single frame also has a honeycomb design. The upper sections of the LED headlamps which now replace the Xenon units as part of the entry-level sport specification feature a new signature for their daytime running lights, while in S-Line and Edition 1 models distinctively designed matrix LED headlamps that were previously reserved for Vorsprung versions are now standard. In profile the latest Q5 has a more streamlined look thanks largely to its redesigned sill insert, and that sleeker air is carried through to the rear with the help of a new chrome trim element running between the light clusters and a new diffuser insert finished in either selenite silver, matte brushed aluminium or titanium black depending on model. Inside, the expansive sweep of the two-section dashboard bisected by its sculpted trim inlay will be familiar to Q5 drivers, as will the freestanding MMI display. Closer inspection will reveal that the monitor itself is now larger, measuring 10.1 inches diagonally across the range, versus either 7 inches or 8.3 inches depending on specification in the outgoing model, and that the rotary controller in the center console which originally acted as the gateway to the MMI functions displayed on the screen is now absent, replaced by a storage compartment. A broad spread of TDI and TFSI engines will ultimately be available for the updated Q5, and the successful Audi Q5 TFSI e plug-in hybrid will also be reinstated with a choice of two outputs, but the first wave of the newcomers will carry the 40 TDI Quattro badge exclusively, meaning that they are equipped with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder diesel engine with peak power increased from 190 PS to 204 PS, and peak torque of 400 Nm. The unit's upgraded output goes hand-in-hand -hand with improved efficiency, which is reflected in its compliance with the requirements of the latest Euro 6D, ISC, FCM emission standard and EU 6A, and has been achieved with the help of a new twin-dosing SCR system with dual add blue injection that significantly reduces nitrogen oxide emissions. It is also now in even better shape physically. Its aluminium crankcase weighs approximately 20 kilograms less than before, and around 2.5 kilograms has been paired from the weight of its crankshaft. So in conjunction with a 7-speed S-Tronic transmission it makes lighter work of propelling the mid-size SUV to 62 miles per hour from rest in 7.6 seconds and onwards to a top speed of 137 miles per hour where conditions allow. Two further supporting technologies play to the strengths of the inherently efficient TDI, a mild hybrid system, MHEV, and the latest on-demand version of Quattro all-wheel drive. Employing a belt-driven starter-slash-generator, BSG, the MHEV system recuperates energy generated under braking and stores it in a compact lithium-ion battery within the 12-volt electrical circuitry. It enables the Audi Q5 to coast with the engine off at speeds of up to 99 miles per hour, and initiates its start-stop function earlier, from speeds of 13 miles per hour, to give an additional boost to fuel economy. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest car releases, prices, and specifications. I'll see you next time.